Welcome back, I am John P. Today we are going to be talking about a watch that Panerai has released that I think gives them their last fighting chance. Now, before I jump into this, I want to make it very clear that I'm not saying anything negative about Panerai. I think if you followed this channel for a while, especially a few years, then you know that I have been pretty hyper critical about Panerai. I've really focused on certain things they've done or they haven't done, but I've kept tabs on them as well as what's going on or what has happened with the Luminor Due, kind of the snapback, smaller, more uh, slim case that many Panerai or Paneristi enthusiasts have really were, they were up in arms about this because they just didn't think it followed the original mold of Panerai. And I've kind of argued over time that Panerai just has to do something. And I do think that what they've done here with this new watch, this is going to be the Panerai Luminor Marina Quaranta. And this is going to be a watch that comes in at 40 millimeters, which I think changes everything. Before I continue, I do wanna show you what's on my wrist today. I have an IWC Green Dial Portugieser Chronograph. I love this, very cool watch. Let me see if I can get a little grab there. There we go, picture here. I really love this watch, recent addition to my collection. Also, please do not forget to check out delraywatch.com, buy, sell, trade watches, as well as sinclairstraps.com, the best place to buy watch straps for your favorite watches. Now, Panerai, back to Panerai. What is Panerai doing? They released this watch, and I'm shocked because for a Richemont brand, I didn't see a lot written about this watch. Now, it's on their website and there's a lot of literature that they have. There seems to be advertising out there, but not really from the major watch magazines. I kind of feel like Panerai fell off the face of the earth there for a while, except for their kind of like new and exciting materials made from recycled plastics or things like that with their e-metals um, and their other composites in the watches that they're producing. So I talked about that, but this particularly, I think is a big deal because Panerai comes back out with the 40 millimeter case size. Now I used to own a Panerai watch in a 40 millimeter case size and I wore it for probably six months. Earlier on when we started Delray Watch years ago, that's one of the watches I had in my collection. Um, it was a much thicker watch than we're talking about here today. It was more traditional with everything from the screw down case back to the water resistance, which we'll touch on in just a second with this watch. But that's a watch, um, with a sub seconds that I wore all of the time. And I really liked it. I thought it was chunky and sporty and I could just beat it up on things. It was a big piece of metal, but Panerai kind of just stopped producing that case size. They kind of double down on their larger, more modern watches. But then eventually a couple years ago, they came out with this Due in a smaller size of 38, a 42. Um, and it was a slimmer watch. It wasn't well received and not a lot of people bought them. It, it just kind of got rubbed the wrong way in the watch collector's eyes. And that's kind of the person that was buying Panerai is the people that really loved the brand. And they felt kind of like the brand did something that they didn't want. And that's something that with brand recognition and these Paneristi, you see it and it just is how it is. And that's how it happened. The Panerai collectors just felt like it wasn't for them anymore. And also they left this gap in their product catalog between small 38 and starting to be a much larger size at a 42. But then recently they come out with this 40 in the Luminor Marina Quaranta. And I think it's just a no brainer. And they come out with the blue dial, they come out with a white dial in the black dial. So it's a little bit of something for everyone. And that's something you see from other brands, right? Like Vacheron. And these are just kind of your standard colors today to appeal to as many people as possible. And I do think, you know, I've touched on this in the past and with other aspects of Panerai, but I really do think that this is giving them a very fair last shot to regain a lot of the prestige that they had before they started losing what I argue to be their customers to the Tudor uh, side of things, because Tudor was maybe uh, enticing them a little bit more with true rugged sports watches not saying that this Quaranta is just that, but I think it puts them back in a place where they can either entice new collectors to get into Panerai with this more versatile case size, right? I mean, I sure, this is a little bit larger than that, but it might wear something like this IWC Portuguese or Chronograph. I've got a smaller wrist. I would really consider a Panerai today if I could put a 40 millimeter Panerai on my wrist and not have to go down to the 38 Douay size 
which was intended to be a little more feminine, these are a little more neutral and they can go either way. And so I think it's a no brainer. Now it features the P900 movement, which is going to have a three day power reserve, which I think is pretty amazing, right? There are so many brands that are selling watches at much more than what Panerai is charging at $7,100 uh, US retail for this watch that just don't have that kind of reserve. So I do appreciate that. But once again, the true Paneristi may not totally be um, sold on this model because it only features a hundred meter water resistance or 10 bars. But my response to that is, you know, all these watches are coming delivered on alligator or leather straps from this part of the catalog, right? So in my mind, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense to say, well, you know, this watch can't go 300 meters or something like that. Well, the reality is it's on an alligator leather strap. I mean, are you going to go 300 meters in the first place? No, I mean, 100 meters truly is more than sufficient for basically everyone, right? Uh, but then when you pair it with the fact that the leather strap should just not be exposed to very much water, if at all anyways, because it'll just become ruined, that just, it's, what is the point, right? Why do you need it? Sometimes that is a thing in watches, but it's just a trade-off that the brand has to make. And I don't think it should necessarily hold anyone back from getting a watch that they really love and enjoy and are going to wear. Now, speaking on the design, particularly with this uh, Panerai watch, I think they really knocked it out of the park. They have the date wheel. Everything looks very well proportioned. The colors look attractive. The blue on the dial looks much more modern and looks like it wouldn't even be coming from the historical, rugged, durable guys, guys, watch of Panerai, it looks like something that maybe even someone that just wants a nice watch would happily put on their wrist. And I think that's something Panerai needed to do is offer something that maybe can suffice and work for the Paneristi, but also attract new people into becoming Paneristi by not changing up anything from the original designs and what they intended the brand to be, but also enough to where it's just not too boring for someone to say, I don't need another Panerai. So they gave you that, right? They change everything up just a little bit. They come out with the new colors. The blue dial is hot. Maybe they'll come out with a green dial. I mean, everyone's doing green dials, right? Um, but I think that is enough. And I think we will see based on this watch collection, where Panerai goes from here. Are they going to knock it out of the park? Are they going to have another flop like they did with, in my opinion, the Luminor Due in terms of reception of watch collectors, I think probably this is going to work. I'm pretty enticed by this watch. Would I pay retail? Probably not. I wouldn't pay $7,100 for this watch. I think, especially when you get into pre-owned, you could probably get something a lot more enticing and dependable in terms of branding and also value long-term. That being said, if there was a discount, I would certainly consider it. Um, but if, if this does work for Panerai and they strengthen their brand to where it once was again, using the line like this in this kind of more moderate case size, I think we'll see Panerai's branding get back to where it was a little more prestige and maybe even wait lists for Panerai like there was when Panerai was really hitting the watch scene maybe a decade ago. I don't know guys, what do you think about this? I think we could see it go, go both ways, but I really am rooting for Panerai on this one. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Love to see it and hear it. You can find me on Instagram, The Real John P. Do not forget to check out DelrayWatch.com as well as SinclairStraps.com. And we'll see you next time you have been chatting with John P. Ciao.